Jackson, wet markets. You may be surprised Bats. to learn wet markets, where live animals are sold on the spot, are also in the United States. The World Health Organization says they can be an affordable source of food in many places, but in many places they are poorly maintained. That's a lie. Check some out. Most food crops These are fed are to animals. Markets. But they're not in China. They operate legally right here in the United States. Chicken, goats, sheep, cows, ducks, all very much alive. Anyone can come in and buy an animal and have it butchered on the premises. Unlike the controversial wet markets in Wuhan, China, where the coronavirus is believed to have originated, American wet markets don't carry exotic animals like bats or snakes. But some critics fear they can still be a source of disease that can spread Bird to flu? Humans, Swine flu? To COVID Ebola? Jill Carnegie of Slaughter Free NYC, from an animal rights group, says there are about 80 wet markets in the city. New York City is the global epicenter of the current pandemic. The absolute disgusting irony is that New York City is home to more of these markets than any other city in the United States. She discreetly shoots video on her cell phone showing, she says, unsanitary conditions, crammed cages, sick animals, and excrement on the floors. She says sometimes the owners don't like her presence. Don't touch her! Don't touch her! She says she was assaulted and pressed charges. The owner was arrested. The case is pending. When we went to the market this week, we found the market in full operation, still selling animals for slaughter on the spot. Something this animal rights activist wishes would change. We need to shut down wet markets by starting right here in our city and shutting down these wet markets immediately. The New York State Department of Health says wet markets pose no risk as long as they're kept clean. Normally this lies, 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 just like the New York City Health Commissioner allowed Koporas, where they were the Jewish animal sacrifice ritual, will kill tens of thousands of animals on the streets in Brooklyn. Tens of thousands. It's completely illegal, but religious privilege allows the sacrifice. Tens of thousands of animals, and they will leave the carcasses all over the streets. Body parts and such getting into the sewage and whatnot. So that's a different issue, religious privilege with caporas. You can look up that. But um, these wet markets in America are awful, just like our factory farms. Yes, they're subsidized by our taxes, the USDA Farm Bill. And it takes about... 12 pounds of crops fed to a forced bred animal for just one pound of meat in return. Up to 16 pounds, actually. So it's massive food waste, but Trump and right wing love the, and left, love their subsidies for their animal products. That's why they are doing an executive order, finally making, um, using the War, War Act or whatever to make the slaughterhouses stay open, even if it risks the workers. Not that I have much empathy for those who massacre animals, but um, like it's a necessity. No, crop farmers feed America. Animal abusers and factory farms starve America. Yes, it takes many pounds of crops fed to an animal that's forced bread, and they're pooped out, most of the crops that are fed to them. So no, it's not essential. It's actually the opposite. It's horrible, and it's subsidized with our taxes, despite being horrible for animals, our environment, healthcare system, and massive food waste, all in one. But we fund it complete opposite. That's why healthy whole foods cost much more. So anyways, yes, wet markets in New York City and in America. And yes, many viruses have been caused by them. Most of them are actually caused by that from swine flu, bird flu, and much, much more. Even uh, the outbreaks from uh, and crops are related to animal manure and waste runoff from animal farming and they have lagoons full of uh, huge lots full of manure so anyways um, share if you care look up a factory farm video and share and shut down the New York City wet markets as well and end the religious privilege as well like Kapora's K-A-P-O-R-A-S you can look up videos on that as well